let you spearhead this one. Politics and bullshit. I'm going to let you spearhead this one. So we talking sports. We talking sports. We talking NFL. Shout out to the Baltimore Ravens. We talking NFL. Shout out to the Ravens, though. <laughs> we talking NFL. We talking sports. Lamar Jackson. Oh, who else up there? That's the captain of the offense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The captain of that defense, though. Yes, sir. Earl Thomas. Earl motherfucking Thomas. Earl motherfucking Thomas. Happy a, belated birthday to Earl Thomas. Happy belated birthday to Earl Thomas. Hey, man, listen. I mean, you might not have been too happy, my nigga, but happy belated birthday to Earl Thomas. Earl, I am on your side. Partially. I'm partially on his side, too. And I definitely got an argument about this, uh, the, the way this shit was handled with the media. Can I tell a story? This you yeah, have I can to tell a story. Floor. You gonna let me tell a story? All right, you so really? look, look, if y'all didn't catch the story right, Earl Tom, and this happened. This actually happened like a month ago. This is wild. It didn't just happen. They oh, just, word. They just released the information, but this shit happened. Oh a shit! So Earl Thomas told his bitch some kind of lie. No, he didn't tell that lie. No, they got in an argument. He got so that's what they, they got, got in an argument. argument, and he left. That nigga was like, "I'm going to my brother's house. Fuck you." That's probably, I'm sure we got we, we gotta both tell it because yeah. I can't just yeah. shut up. No, it's okay. Just correct me as I'm going along. It's fine. I, just, it's fine. I can't shut up. You gotta be, be like Tory Lanez ad lib, man. Shout out to Tory Lanez for quarantine radio. All right, I ad lib it, man. We about to take shots too for your birthday. Um, what does girl do? So look, he was like, "Bitch, how she find?" He's like, "Bitch, fuck you." I'm going to my brother's house, right? Right. But the nigga left his phone on. But what was he at his brother? Was he really at his brother's house? He was with his brother at a house. At a house. His ad, brother was there though. My ad lib game is crazy. So look, it don't even matter though. But the, <laughs> bitch, I told, I said what I said. I'm going where I'm going. Facts. I told you. Come, give me a little bit. So I told you I'm going where I'm going. I'm a, I'm not going to yell. No, you good. Really, really I got we. I so, got you, bitch. Talk, I'm talk, going where I'm going. Talk how you right. Talk. I got you. Right. So they got an argument. I got the levels. Right. Just I ain't gonna say just like a nosy woman because that's bad disrespectful. And I'm not even gonna play y'all like that, women. Because we definitely gonna go viral. You say that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even about to. But I know that. I'm not gonna say it, women's intuition is some bullshit because if it if women's intuition was good, it would tell you that that nigga not shit for you yeah. got with him. But no, how she but went about it was wild nosy. S- Snapchat. She went to this man's to Snapchat. Snapchat. But here here's where y'all here, listen. Black men don't cheat. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. You didn't? No, I know you could go on Snap, but I didn't know you could go on Snapchat and find your own fucking pinpoint location. Listen, that was you, wild. Listen. If you don't turn that location shit off in Snapchat, even if you turn it off, it still shows you exactly where you're at. So if you have the account to log in, you can see exactly where some. Well, no, because that won't change it. But as long as, as that person doesn't turn it off, you can see almost down to a pinpoint address where that person is at on Snapchat. So oh, yeah. All you need to do for that, all she had to do was be in the neighborhood. She know his car. There ain't too many niggas like what probably with a car like he got. <laughs> Okay, so mm. she pulled up on them. I'm not mad at her. If you suspect your person is cheating and you know where they at, pull up on them. See what the fuck is up live and in person. I'm with all that shit. But I'm when she bullshit. pulled up. But she pulled up, though. What did she see, nigga, Kyle? she walked in the crib. What did she see, Nigga, Kyle? she walked in the crib. I sound like Umar, right? I'm my nigga, and she walked in the crib. And what she see? What happened in that crib that she saw, Kyle? Earl Thomas was in the bed naked. With who, though? With his brother. Whoa. And some hoes. Okay, now the story getting better. It's uh, even out a little bit, but you're still naked in the bed with your blur brother on some hoes. I don't have a blur brother, so I can't really tell you how that feels. Yo, I don't know. We going to finish this story, but I just want to point out that we are faded. Not really. I am. I just think this one. I just the story is fucking hilarious. I've been wanting to tell this story all week. I'm like, fucked up. This shit is wild. I'm getting there though. We definitely. Got but I'm I'm a functional fucked up. I, I, this is fun. It is. <laughs> this is funny shit. Nigga. <laughs> she caught him in the bed with his brother and some hoes. How big was this bed though? It got to be a California. Because it was mad joint. Like it was yeah. joints in. Like it was an California. orgy. She said it was having an orgy. Got to be a California king. Got to like, be a California king. Earl Thomas ain't no little nigga, dog. He's a defensive motherfucker. I mean, the same say, but yeah, but you know. <laughs> I've had orgies in smaller places. Um, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just joking, guys. So let's 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 get to it though. Let, I mean, let's get back to it. So she caught him in the bed. She caught him in the bed, right? With his brother. No pause, because it won't no gay shit. Because yeah. it was his brother and some joints. And some joints and some hoes. Maybe that's how blood brothers get down again. I don't have a blood brother, so I can't tell you that. But 
Yeah. She went into full psycho mode. I mean, niggas have she had an emotional younger days. Breakdown. Niggas only had bread for the for the single bed and had a couple joints. Hey, and it was just like my nigga. As long as your foot don't touch no, mine or nothing, you just like nigga. We down the down the no, foot part. Always, you always, down the head part, bro. Or luckily, I always had room for the double joints. Either that or we was going to bang on the floor. But yeah, I mean, niggas can figure out ways. We been separate there. legs yeah, on the arms yeah, yeah. of the chair, whatever the case. Life, but life happens. But but they brothers, so we we'll, we we'll let it slide. So. She she had an emotional breakdown, which I fully understand. You walk in and you catch your partner, your your husband, your wife, fucking somebody else in an orgy. Like it's with their brother. brother. Like nigga, you be in my face, you smile at me every motherfucking day at the family. She had an emotional breakdown. I completely get it. So she pulled out the gun. She, I got the strap, bitch. I got the gun. She had. She pointed the gun at Earl Thomas, and held this man at gunpoint. Look, that's so, not even where the story gets wild. Because here's what I, I, I yeah. Here's what all dumb people do when they catch their partner cheating. Of course, they want to beat the other person up. I've been caught cheating. I know she hit the other girl. But hold on, because we can't leave this important detail out. So she took the clip out the gun. So she thought. Well, she took. The, she, she, she took the clip out. She just hit the clip out. But it was one in the head. So imagine if she was just trying to scare him and just pull the trigger, and that one was in the head. She, she yep. the Steve McNair them, bro. You know, not, and, I, and that's not a joke. Yeah, it's not. A Rest joke. in peace to Steve yeah. McNair. That's not like she definitely would have killed him. She would have killed him. Like she would have Steve McNair them, bro, because that's how he died. Shorty, his shorty yeah. came in, caught him with a joint, killed both of and them. Thought, yeah. So it was like I don't damn. think she thought that this shit was empty, but um, that 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 shit could have definitely she, went left. I mean, she said she, she thought it was empty. Was I mean, I would too. Um. <laughs> So that shit definitely could have went bad. That lets me know that she's a real nigga though, because she keeps wanting to hit her gun. Facts. She's a real nigga. Facts. And that was his burner. Oh, she grabbed it. See? She grabbed his burner. I thought it was hers. I mean, they married, so it's theirs. <laughs> so what's his is hers. But yeah, she grabbed his burner and went. But yeah, so go ahead to what you were saying. You said something about her beating the joint up. She so she, she punched point, the joint. She hit the she hit the joint and then she pointed the gun at the hose and said, "I, I got something for all you bitches." There's enough bullets in this gun for all you. That ain't what she said, but she said, I got some yeah. for all you hoes. Yeah, you think it was a joint in there? Like, I ain't even fuck him. Like, I was with him. I wasn't even. <laughs> She's going to jail. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? She's going to jail. If Earl doesn't press charges, which would be some wild shit, like, y'all yeah, really don't like this bitch. Like, she got to get out of my life. I'm going to press charges on this bitch. If she don't do it, you know what the he state needs can to, do it. You know what he needs to do? He needs to call A B. Antonio Brown, not Adrian Broner. Yeah, you got you gotta call Antonio Brown, see how he worked it out. Bro. And see how he would handle no, it. No, A B just threw a bag of dicks at his baby mama. <laughs> bag there, of there, dicks there, for the there, dicks. There was no guns involved. It was just a bag of dicks. You can recover from a bag of dicks. In front of the police, though. He yeah. threw a bag of matter. dicks at her in front of the police. Doesn't matter. I recover at throwing a bag of dicks versus her pulling a gun on me. Facts. So And then he knocked her up after that. But look. That's how I know AB's a real nigga, yeah, B. It is. It's a fact. Where's my lighter? Um, so, and I seen, don't get me wrong. Like I said, if you walk in and you catch your husband, your wife fucking somebody else, you're going to have an emotional breakdown. Yeah. That shit is going to happen. I'm not even saying that you don't. Especially put, if you actually love him and you're yeah. not just with him for the bread. Like, like, I'm not even saying that you don't put hands on everybody. In, well, I'm saying you don't put, yeah. The situation depends on whether you put hands on everybody in the room. I'm not saying that you don't put hands on your spouse. You definitely put hands on your spouse. Fine. Whatever. You just got to ask the nigga a real important question. Are you ready to die for this pussy? Because I am. Because I am. Nah. And women. <laughs> women. You got to tell them that you ready to die for that D. Yeah. I seen the video. I get I, active, little mama. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am. I seen, I seen Mrs. the video. Like, yeah. I seen the video. Shorty. You ready, ask, pretty much. Ask her. Like, you ready yeah, to die I, about that dick? Like, ask her. I, I do that because I am. She ready to go. Ask people, get them the chance to respond because they might not be ready to die for it. Like I just met this bitch last week. It's like I'm not on the side. Like yeah, I got a whole old lady. At the she crib was too. something to do when it was nothing to do. It was, nothing it was to do. like nah. But so if the state don't press charges on her, them girls can press charges on her. She like it's just it's a bad situation. And then of course I see women defending that shit like. Oh, I had to pull the gun on the nigga too. 
ma'am, you're going to jail. This is the part I want to get to. You're going to jail. And don't even I'm I'm not encouraging cheating. I'm not saying cheating is okay. Oh no, this is the but part I've put, been waiting for. If we put cheating on the scales versus murder, which you can plead a crime of passion and get temporary insanity and they'll drop it to manslaughter. Yeah. Fine. It still does not weigh out. Hell no. It doesn't it doesn't weigh out. Cheating does not is doesn't equivalent to murder or manslaughter. But see, my thing is get control of your feelings. So I I seen a lot of double standard bullshit going on with this story. And the reason why I said double standard bullshit because all right, if Earl Thomas would have caught his wife cheating and did the same shit, he would have been all kind of ain't shit piece of shit niggas. They'd have been asking, "Oh, I wonder what he was doing to make her want to cheat. Why she want to step out? He must not have been doing his job as a man." Da da da. Oh, he need to just let it go. Like it would it that's what it would have been if it was the shoe on the other foot. Mm-hmm. But since it's her doing it to him, it was like jokes, memes, it's all good. All right. So it's like anytime anytime we go through some shit, it's it's cool. It's it's funny. Like us as niggas, we we supposed to goddamn get tortured and got a lot of topics whatever. though. Yeah. Put a lot of topics. But if he'd have did that and put a gun to her head. He'd have been dead ass wrong. Canceled. NFL would have dropped him. Like, nigga, whole career would have been gone. All his endorsements would have been gone. She's going to jail. <laughs> yeah. He definitely would have been in jail. I mean, she locked up now. I don't know if she, no, got, she got bonded she got or whatever. She got mine. She got mine. And I'm sure he bonded her out. I'm going to bond you out too. But unless you pay everybody off and the state decides, like, we really need this nigga at starting safety, we don't need him going through no bullshit. So we'll wipe yeah. it off. Of- it's politics involved, which it can happen, but yeah, I mean, and she deserves to technically. Be besides cheat, he didn't do nothing, and cheating ain't gonna get you suspended from the league. Like that's just, I yeah, mean, he's fine. His career is fine, but you might not want him going through the stress of having to deal with that whole legal shit. Oh hell no! You know what I'm saying while the season going on, man, I'm sure the Baltimore that they probably got motherfucking. lawyers and shit where he don't even got to go to court. Like the lawyers just like, in court. It's Baltimore, you seen the wire? Everybody's dirty. Yeah, everybody's dirty. Mayor Carcetti and shit. So that shit, wow! Like, don't get me wrong. I and again, I, I stated it before. I was, it's like the third time I said it. I understand if you catch your partner cheating, you have an emotional breakdown. You want to yeah. put hands on that person? Cool. Don't commit felonies. It's gonna have your ass sitting in jail years behind some shit that after two weeks, a month, six months, yes. like yep. you're you are emotionally healed from. Emotional scars do sometimes take time to heal. For six sure. months a year that's six months a year of being on the outside healing your emotional scarring is a lot better than uh you sitting in prison for four or five years because you let emotion take over and you made a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion yeah or 40 because ain't no guarantee they're gonna drop yeah, the shit they're gonna there's no guarantee so like you might fuck around and get the l so especially if they prove out that she knew about him cheating before like you oh, knew, yeah. so you knew that he was cheating. So this is premeditated. Like you thought about this. And it and so to be yeah. honest, and I, I mean we don't know the situation, but to be honest, it was probably the fact that they had an argument and he bounced. Uh, what, what it Again, I don't condone cheating. But in my younger years I was a piece of shit. Fuck you think I'm doing when we go argue. Then we'll go sit in the house and be mad by myself. No, I'm going to get some. And pussy. I definitely don't want to sit here and fucking stare at you. And I'm no, and you the source of my motherfucking anger right now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some side pussy that doesn't argue with me and that agrees with everything I say. <laughs> you know why? Because she made me feel good at the moment. Oh, you gonna, it, you gonna put Quincy McCall yeah, loving basketball? Yeah, she was man. she was there for she, me. She was there for me. <laughs> we going to get something to eat. You want to come? You, she, that was you, the wildest. You, you want to come? We want to get something to eat. out. You, you want to come? You were stressing me out. She was my stress reliever. Like it happened. And again, this was me being a piece of shit in my younger years. So Megan, what would you do? You catch a nigga with a joint, and he say, "Yo, we about to go get something to eat. You want to come?" <laughs> <laughs> the fat girl let me say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and order right. like six things on the menu. And go throw it away. Probably take the most favorite thing I want. 
<laughs> you know what? No, and that's just throw it all away. Or not all this shit over. How she gonna stop being mad? Like, fool? Oh shit, yeah, we can go do that. No, but she got back to being super petty and I'm cool with that, though. She said, I would have like six days. She ain't that, gonna throw it all away. I'm gonna run that check and she's not throwing it all away. I'm gonna take what I want. Y'all go to Chick fil A, you eating most of that shit. <laughs> You are eating most of that shit. But yeah, man. Let's go ahead. We had an hour, man. We had one on one. So let's go ahead and um Y'all going to jail. So y'all going to jail. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you're going you're going to jail now. 